Welcome back. I hope everyone got to explore a little bit and meet some new people. I will now put on my Bosk chair hat to officially welcome you to the 21st annual Bioinformatics Open Source Conference. We first started in 2000 and we cover all aspects of OpenStar bioinformatics, including open source, open science, open data, and more. We are sponsored by the Open Bioinformatics Foundation, and you'll hear more about that tomorrow morning from our president. Last year at BOSC 2019, I put up this map showing where the first 20 BOSCs were held. But this year, I'm delighted to say that we're almost everywhere, every continent except for Antarctica. We have a great lineup of sessions and talks for you in, in BOSC, and you can find our talks talk schedule on Skedge and also on the BOSC website. And uh, don't miss the closing joint session about open science and COVID-19. I wanna thank all of the volunteer BOSC organizers for helping us put together a great program. And with that, I will turn the stage over to Dave Clements to talk about Galaxy. Thank you, Nomi. Get my screen shared. Boom. Share. Okay. And uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, and welcome also to the 2020 Galaxy Community Conference. This is our 11th such event and our first online one, just like Bosque. So if you are not familiar with Galaxy, uh, here's the definition that the project uses. We are an open source uh, web-based platform for accessible, reproducible, and transparent biomedical analysis. Those are three of our core values. So Galaxy is software. It's a lot of software. There are a lot of ancillary packages that come with it um, that support it in various ways. Let's see, we also um, are the websites and the infrastructure that supports it. So there are um, hundreds of Galaxy servers around the world. Over 100 of them are publicly accessible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops, wrong one. Okay. But that definition is missing a huge part of the picture. So James Taylor, one of the project leads, said this at last year's Galaxy conference. The most important thing about Galaxy is this community. And we cannot overstate that. Um, it is vital to the success of Galaxy to um, the community is. So it's not just developers, it's developers, it's tool creators, it is trainers, it is users, it's everyone who supports the ecosystem and it is a vibrant and global one. So I actually wrote this slide back in February and it was true then, but it's even truer now. If you have not heard, we lost James Taylor in April, um, beginning of April. He died suddenly, he was fine one day, and then gone the next. And as you can imagine, this was a very hard transition for the community to lose one of our leaders and founders. Um, James was involved in Galaxy, but also lots of other things. Um, Modern Code was one of his first big projects. Uh, Anvil is another project he was involved in. He did a lot of things with chromosome confirmation and high C. He was also very big on community and involvement and inclusion. And um, I found out since he passed that, that the reason that Galaxy has emphasized community since the very beginning, and in fact, why I have this job is because of James and his emphasis on that. So um, one of the things we're doing um, in his honor is a foundation has been started and this foundation will support um, early researchers, grad students, faculty, in many ways. If you want to hear more about James and you want to hear more about Galaxy, um, you can do this at these sessions. I want to highlight the big picture, which is tomorrow, the second session. And that's where you'll hear more about James, more about the foundation, as well as what's happening in the overall ecosystem. We also have, um, well, five total seminar or five total workshops and the joint COVID one. In addition to that, lots of posters, demos, birds of a feather, and there's a social tonight, two hours after the last session ends, so right after all the bops end, 
that will be in the Galaxy building. So we really encourage you to show up and uh, meet old friends and uh, meet new collaborators as well. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to pass it back to Nomi now. Um, and welcome again to uh, BCC 2020. Thanks, Dave. And uh, now, what happens next? Well, you can look at the whole schedule on bcc2020.sked.com. And um, this can be a little difficult to navigate, but it has some useful features. You can use the time zone menu to see all the event times in your local time zone. The category menu will let you see specific types of events. For example, just the galaxy talks or just the birds of a feather. And uh, we discovered yesterday that if you click the print button, you get a simpler view of the schedule that's a little easier to navigate. Just a little run through of what's happening today. We are just about to start our first keynote and then there will be a 15 minute break. All of the breaks are 15 minutes for your convenience. And after that, we will go into our first joint sessions, sorry, the uh, parallel sessions with BOSC in the BOSC building and Galaxy in the Galaxy building. I'll tell you in a minute how we get to those. There'll be a, another short break and then the first poster and demo session. Uh, don't miss that, it'll be pretty cool. Another break and then we will have another parallel session. And at the end of the day, there will be birds of a feather and you'll hear more about those later. So how do you get to these other events and sessions? They're all connected to our main space via the buttons on the left and right of the floor, which we call bridges. So when you're ready to go to either BOSC or Galaxy, you'll pick the, the green or blue button to get there. And once you're there, if you wanna get back to this main floor, there will be a button there that says back to main. So uh, there's no time, unfortunately, to do Q&A during these opening remarks, but for the future talks, you'll be able to use the Q&A panel to ask your questions. You can get to that via the chat and you can ask your questions with your name attached or anonymously. You can see what other people asked and upvote the questions you think are interesting. And although for the keynote, there's just one talk in the session, in most sessions, there'll be multiple talks before Q&A. So we ask you to try to identify which talk your question pertains to, and there should be a key at the top uh, to help you do that. We uh, thank our sponsors very much for enabling us to make this meeting more affordable and accessible. We have three gold sponsors and three silver. And tomorrow, there will be uh, talks by our first two gold sponsors. Uh, so you'll, you should check that out. And also we have sponsor tables in the poster building. The gold sponsors have tables on floor one and silver on floor two. So that is the end of my opening remarks. And I will now introduce our first keynote speaker in the Western hemisphere. That will be Lincoln Stein.